Alrighty. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Well, time once again for my pseudo cast, and uh, and today, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna revert back. I I don't see this being permanent or anything, but I'm gonna revert back to to play some dark ambient music, if only because <laughs> because I saw this the deer. <laughs> So yeah, so dark ambient music about a about a cute little deer, and let me look at something else. I think I might have messed up. Yep, uh, that's what it was. Okay, so once again, let me uh, say this right, but yeah, I just this is on my YouTube recommendations. Uh, again, dark ambient music about the deer. Just a cute little deer. So, and then secondly, um, <clears throat> for the past, for the past week or two, <clears throat> all the, uh, all the video, all the music I've been, or I wouldn't even call it music, but all the videos I've been playing was people watching and people walking and, uh, space station footage. Um, and it just, all of it was just, there were just huge file sizes. They took, took forever and a day to upload in fact, um, yesterday's, um, yesterday's, it was, uh, people walking in, or, it was like walking around in Brooklyn, around the, around the, uh, the Twin Trade Towers or whatever. That one was like, uh, like, almost a nine gigabyte video. That took forever to upload. I had, a, uh, I think, um, once I had it uploaded, I basically shut everything down and, um, uh, it was like 7 a.m. and I had to lay down. <clears throat> I had to lay down. So, yeah, I had, a. I couldn't uh, get it all squared away right then and there. So, but anyway, let me uh, let me go ahead and get this going. Okay, but um, but yeah, it just the past week week or two, it's been nothing but actual full motion videos, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the file sizes were so obscenely high, they were taking forever to upload. Um, and you know, just trying to reiterate here. And then um just like uh and then yesterday, I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't completely get the whole pseudo cast fully squared away. I had to just upload it, and then, then then just shut down for the day. I had to lay down, but um, but I and, and, oh and I forgot to mention too, um, uploading videos is a two part process. First you have to upload it, obviously, but after that. The video that you uploaded, it has to process, like, uh, just, you know, probably, uh, it's, it's probably checking to see if you have anything that's, uh, copyrighted or, you know, stuff like that, making the necessary checks, so, but, uh, you don't, when it's processing, you don't have to, you don't have to have Twitch slash YouTube open in order for it to process. Processing will do it, will, will, will be done automatically in the background so that's what I mean. so in situations like that where something's got to take a super long time to upload usually i'll try to stay awake long enough at least long enough for it to upload and then once it's done doing that and then just shut down the computer and shut down for the day but this is one of the reasons why i decided to go back here to just play a dark ambient because the file size is going to be at the very most one gigabyte but oftentimes it's about half that. And before I continue, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy orange pineapple flavor. So get ready for some pops. <sighs> All right, but anyway, so some things I did last night. Um. I got a. I couldn't do it yesterday morning because uh, my internet was down, but I did it this morning, or actually I should say I did it uh, last night. I tried streaming a game called Guilty Gear Strive, and lo and behold, it's doable. I mean, I had to have the gra I had to I had to have the graphics settings at the at the complete lowest in order to do it, but um, it it wasn't too hard on the eyes. I mean. All the graphics, it does look, it looks slightly pixelated, but again, again, it wasn't, it wasn't too terrible looking, 
but you know, once again, it's it's doable. Actually, the only big slowdown I had on that game, believe it or not, was at the uh, character select screen. What um, it'll show um, it'll show like a like a a full a full animation of your character, like in or whatever character you have selected, it'll show them like in their fighting pose or whatever. That actually slowed the game down and slowed the stream down, but virtually nothing else in that game really did. I found that to be pretty interesting, because I was expect I figured if anything it'd be the other way around, like you know like the character select screen, no pro you know no slow down at all. Then you get to the actual game and it's like slower than molasses in winter. But nope, nope, didn't happen. So we, I mean to be fair though, there was still a few laggy parts here and there, but. Nothing to get the panties in a bunch over. Um, but uh, but now that now that I found that to be doable, I'll probably be playing a little longer. And um, and like yesterday, I think the biggest reason why I got into Guilty Gear was because uh, one of the playable characters is a guitar is a guitar wielding chick. It's a girl that plays guitar. Not 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 acoustic guitar. I'm talking electric guitar. Boom! Wow! You know that kind of thing. I'm a real sucker for those kind of characters. Uh, Streets of Rage Four is uh was another game. Uh, Cherry Blossom. I think I I, I started out uh, watching a playthrough of her. I started watching a playthrough of her like sometime yesterday. But yeah, that that's her name, Cherry Blossom. But yeah, she's another uh she's a guitar playing girl. But like I said, I'm a real sucker for these kind of characters. So, but, uh, but otherwise, just, um, I just, uh, did practice mode, uh, did some of the tutorials, which I actually thought was pretty neat. Um, they did what, uh, what Rivals of Aether did. You can, um, uh, I mean, you can, uh, there's a beginner, there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and there's, uh, there's also character specific tutorials as well. Um, so yeah, Rivals of Aether did a really good job with the tutorials because I'm used to most other tutorials where all where for the most part they just they basically have you do a button check, then all right you complete the tutorial now get out there and you're basically thrown to the wolves. Not not here, not in Guilty Gear, and not in um not in Rivals of Aether. And those they start you from the ground up. Um, they go under the assumption that you've never played fighting games before, and they'll sit there and just show you the base. They'll walk you through all the basics, the basics, the intermediate stuff, and the advanced stuff. So they walk you through all that. And once again, um, I'm used to, I'm used to most of uh, most games that have tutorials. They just basically give you a quick run through, and after that, you're on your own. So yeah, so good on um, Arc System. I think that's the name of the company that made Guilty Gear. So yeah, good on them for doing that. And um, and also uh, another thing, I, another thing about uh, Guilty Gear Strive that I kind of liked. It, I mean, it's not it's not an actual fully interactive mode, but fishing. You can um, they, I mean, it basically it's um, you're just spending in-game currency to to buy unlockable stuff, you know, like extra skins, extra music tracks, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, it, but it's it's but the, they they call it fishing. They just basically added a fishing animation to it. I mean, not much, but it's a nice it's a nice touch though, you know, to make it less um less loot boxy, for lack of a better word. And, and the lore, and but um yeah, I like. I mean, I don't, I don't think the lore is wonderful or anything like that. Um, but this is probably kind of like uh, Rivals of Aether. The, the lore isn't really that much, off, isn't really that off-putting. But they did it. Um, it, it's kind of hard to explain. It's mostly a personal taste thing, I think. But uh, it isn't like a Street Fighter. Where it's, it's just the the lore in that game is just freaking god awful. The dialogue is just god awful. 
I mean, I had to, I had to set it to Japanese because a lot of the dialogue is so damn cringeworthy. Now, to be fair, in Guilty Gear, I got to do the same thing too, but I could set it to English, and it wouldn't bother me as much. But I mean, I still got to set it to Japanese though, because it's just a little, still a little, ugh, little cringy. But, um, that's what it was. That's what it was that made me kind of, kind of, uh, kind of get into the lore. Um, the, the franchise Dynasty Warriors, and I guess, um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms as well, they're, um, it's, it's, it's my, uh, it's my all-time favorite book, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, all-time favorite book. Um, but, yeah, they, um, it's practically an encyclopedia. You know, the... You know, a quick story on the characters. There's like a, a quick story on all the events and all that other stuff. Um, Dynasty Warriors has that too. Just it has like an encyclopedia about the characters and story and events, etc. Um, Guilty Gear has this too, so that that's a nice plus as well. Um, Mortal Kombat. I'm trying to think. I've played uh, Armageddon. I think they had it but I think uh, with with Mortal Kombat you had to actually unlock you had to unlock p parts of the story but like, I don't remember much I haven't played it in many years but uh I hey I'm, I'm racking my brain right now I'm trying to remember I know it had a list I know um but I'm talking uh Eh, excuse me. I think it was Deception. I, I, it, it had an encyclopedia, but I think, um, I think most of it, if not all of it, you had to unlock with in-game, in-game currency. Whereas in Guilty Gear Strive, you don't have to. I think there were some characters that had question marks, but I don't. I didn't. I didn't see anything where you had to unlock them with in-game currency. I think you just unlock them as you progress somehow in the game. But yeah, like but like like I said, I've been um. It looks like I'll be playing Guilty Gear Strive for a while. I still. I would still like to try other fighting games since I'm really on a roll right now because I'm pretty much burnt out on Guild Wars 2. And I mean, I, last night, last night I tried to, I tried to play it. I got as far as maybe, maybe part way into one of the world bosses and I just, eh, I ain't feeling it. And then just ended up bailing out of the game. So, so I'm trying to, so it looks like uh, I'm pretty much into fighting games, but um, but like I said a few moments ago, I want to try to incorporate all the other all the other games that I've been playing recently into my streams. But like I said, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna work it. The only thing I can think of is uh, maybe just streaming Guilty Gear Strive only on my work nights. But I mean, and, and even then. There, I'm still considering not streaming at all on my work nights. So, like, but like I said, this is gonna be tough to make work. But if I still, if I do still stream on my work nights, it'll probably be Guilty Gear Strive. And then maybe on my off nights, like kind of like what I did last night slash this morning. Um, I did a pinball stream. I started up on that around midnight. Po I might do that with uh, some other. With a different fighting game, of my of some random choosing, I might do that. But again, this is all talk and speculation right now. But these are just hide, these are just ideas that I'm just hashing out right now, which is also one of the reasons why I started doing these pseudo casts. I just find this to be a great way to, great way to just talk it out. So, but otherwise, um. And my work week starts back up, so 
I won't be doing another one of these casts till I think uh, probably Sunday morning. So, because I work on I work Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays now. So I won't be doing no pseudo cast on those days. But uh, but hey, as it's um, as it's 15 minutes right now, and um, I don't really have anything else to say, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But uh. Yeah, but thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, again, this is going to be my last pseudo cast for the week, and you won't be hearing another one until probably Sunday morning. So, but until then, take care, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.